Nick Houston here from Gotham Sound and Communications, here with Kish and Audio Limited. Um, how's it going? It's going very well, going very well. Good. It's uh, nice to be here in Vegas again um, to show all the products. And, you know, Sound Devices have got us a nice prominent area uh, to display the products. And so we now we've got, you know, first time I'm seeing this as well with all the receivers in, in the SL6. Um, fully integration is getting closer and closer. We've now got the ability to uh, control all of the uh, receivers from the, uh, uh, the control surface, uh, and every day we're just getting it better and, and getting it fully integrated into the Sound Devices uh, 6 Series um, recorders. So lots of people finding the benefits of that uh, happening there now. So um, it's been really great. And um, now, you know, the sales in the States have uh, started happening and uh, a lot of good reaction from the marketplace. And, um, you know, one or two things that we're hearing from the, uh, from the market is, you know, the, the audio quality is still as they expected it to be, which is what we've always been known for. And uh, without, you know, any huge sacrifices and anything else that we've done. So it's, uh, it's a nice feeling to be yeah. doing that. So you were, when we were talking before, you said, uh, you said something very specific about when you turn up the fader. Yes, yeah. And we've had lots of people like saying, you know, as you fade up the, uh, the fader on the mixer, People are saying, well, actually, you don't hear it, the, that typical um, wireless um, audio. Uh, now it sounds like a wire. Uh, and, you know, we're getting a lot of that from around the world. So it's actually very nice to know that all of that we've been struggling for to get that all into the uh, uh, digital system has worked out very well. And there's a good positive reaction from the marketplace. And uh, you're also talking about channel density. And um, I mean, so sure. just to say that we, we did a video on this uh, a couple of weeks ago in New York. It was yes. much colder. Yes. Um, so if you want to know all the ins and outs and see the button pushes and all that, uh, watch the video on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's there. But um, you were talking about channel density. Yes, yeah. I mean, we, you know, the FCC is not going to give us any more frequencies uh, anytime soon. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why we've been actually driving towards the investment in digital technology. Uh, and developing our own proprietary modulation scheme to give us that um, very high density. So within a six megahertz TV channel, you're now able to get 15 channels working together without sacrificing audio quality or delay, which is still kept at two milliseconds. So, you know, you've got that very nice compact high channel density and you still got the ability to, uh, to get uh, the quality of the uh, product that you require. And so we're featuring this uh, A10 inside the 688 um, SL6 slot receiver, but if we look over here, what's uh, what's this box? Oh, this is uh, a prototype of the four-channel rack, one U rack system. So it'll take the uh, any receiver with the SL um, slot in uh, format, plug it into there. It's got a built-in distribution amplifier with uh, active antenna feeds as well. So um, very compact situation. So you can have eight channels of A10 um, in the unit itself. And on the back of the unit, we have RF inputs to give you the uh, phantom powering for your active antennas. There's a loop through so you can connect two racks together. And then you've got the audio outputs on your XLRs, which can be switched uh, from analog to digital within the receiver. We'll also have a Dante module in here. So uh, we, we initially we were thinking about having a, a retrofittable module, and then we've decided, no, forget it. We'll just go and integrate it with Dante outputs from day one and the DC connection, of course. So it's, it's, it's a very simple box, but it does an awful lot. And what's the lead time on this? Uh, we're looking at, we're working on it at the moment, so we're probably uh, later on this year. Okay. Probably third quarter, if we're lucky. And uh, so the audio limited uh, receivers will come out and slot in there, but it is a, it's a standard kind of super slot connection. Will it work with other receivers? Yes, it will. Okay. Yes, it will. So you'll be able to use other receivers, but of course we recommend the A10. Of course, absolutely. Kish, thank you very much. Have a great rest of the show. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you.